Welcome to the first video on More Sip to Tally. Now, I won't be on camera as much on this channel because this is dedicated to the entire NFL. And, um, you know, my Ravens fans will get my personal touch. But um, the first video here is Kyle Pitts. And I want to appreciate everybody that has subscribed already. Everybody that came over from the original Sip to Tally um, YouTube channel. And um, let's get into Kyle Pitts and what makes him a freak. Six day catches. 1,026 yards, but only one TD. And that don't, you know, that one TD don't really give you a, a good read on this cast's abilities. When you see some of the stuff that he did and he puts on film, you can kind of understand why it's only one TD on top of the O line play from the Falcons while watching this stuff. And I will say this I, I have a greater appreciation for Matt Ryan of doing this film study because his O line was. Let the silence, you know, tell you what's going on. All right, so we got my guy, Spot Shadow, up here, lined up. At, and first of all, while we go through this, just notice the different spots he lined up at. Just notice the different spots. Notice the versatility. And again, he's listed as a tight end, but could be used as a big receiver. Depends on where the mismatch is. If you come out with your tight end set and they send in a set that to defend the tight end set, to match up personnel-wise, now you can flex him out. You can, you know, put him in an H back. You can have two tight ends do multiple things with him. It's basically depending on how they send out their defensive front or their defensive personnel based off how you use them. And in this situation, he's flexed out as the top uh, receiver. And just, you know, it's against zone. But again, we're not being able to be jammed, so that don't throw off the timing. He tries to push him inside, which is fine because this is a kind of cover two look. He can't let nobody get behind him. He has the wide with Hayden Hurst. So he's just going to stick it and right there. And it's a good throw by Matt Ryan. On time. That's what I like. After the catch. I really like that after the catch. And he didn't do anything really spectacular right here other than not get pressed off the line. By the catch, which, you know, you'll see different catches later on. Like th I think he thought... This cat saw him, so he kind of body caught it and braced for the impact. And once he realized he wasn't there, that's when he tried to put a move on him. But again, nothing spectacular right there. Just the, mainly the way he was lined, where he was lined up at. Bottom of your screen now. Got him as a solo receiver down here. I can't tell. This, I think this is versus a cornerback. And he didn't get the ball, but I like the route. Watch the route down there. Squared him up, pushed him outside, got him to turn his hips. Look at the DB's hips. Now you're going to try to take this, this arm, slap it by, then he's going to stick it in there. But he got the DB hips turned. That's perfect. Take that arm. There it is. Arm over. Now, had he been throwing him the, the slant down here, wide open all day. And he got his guy on the ground. It's a great route. By, uh, I'm air quoting tight end. He got the spot shot out here. Now he's in the slot. Still, we hadn't seen him attached to the line yet. Hadn't seen him attached to the line yet. Now he's in the slot. Different positions, different per, uh, personnel packages. You got to match up and find him. Because he creates the problem. Just work in the middle of the field. That's what you want a guy to do. Just work the middle of the field. Now, we talked about body catching earlier. That's not body. That's all hands. All hands over the middle of the field while kind of sort of off your feet. So that's a scary situation. But the thing I like is the control route. Him just running out full speed and off balance, not off balance, but full speed and can't really slow down and throttle down. What a throw. That's a good throw by Matt Ryan to get it over this cat because he's fully extended and drop it right there to pits. And allow him to get some yards after the catch. But again, just working in the middle of the field as, as any potentially great player should. Now, the, he's the number three tight end, and it's technically not a bunch, but it could be considered as a bunch because let's just call it condensed. He's the number two receiver in a condensed formation. So you got, I think this is Hayden Hurst here, another guy here. And what I really like is the release. He, if you can get that shoulder, if, if the defender has to put his back on your shoulder, 
he's almost beat. Even though this guy's looking in the backfield, I like the fact that he tried to get that shoulder turn, then get upfield. Now you got to figure out where you're going. Like the physicality. Like the physicality. But he got to get off of that quicker. He allowed 30 to 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 drop to hold him up. Got to be more violent with those hands. Like this hand right here that he finna try to come through with, he got an almost Reggie White club that dude. Get him off balance and he couldn't do that. And that comes with, he'll probably better do this another year or two because he's so fr framed, his frame is so, I don't say thin, but once he get, and as uh, Vajan Lombardi says, his grown man strength, he'll be able to take this guy at this point right here and throw him out the way. And then he'll be able to, to smooth the transition to this out route. Just not just yet. Not just yet. That probably that guy probably got a couple of NFL weight rooms on him. Summer weight rooms on him. And he wouldn't have been able to do that. But that's something you can work on. The fact that he know the fact that he knew the technique to do it, he just couldn't physically execute it, is one thing. But if he just didn't know the technique and just got raw dog down, that'd have been different. And again, right, the steal. Just gotta, gotta get off of that sooner. Can't let the guy ride, just ride you down the field. That messes up the timing. Especially if you're the primary guy. But luckily enough, he, he's a enough athlete, freak enough athlete, to get him off. And his quarterback's smart enough to know what's going on. I really like this throw by Matt Ryan. So not only did he throw him away from this dude, he threw him low to the ground so this dude couldn't pulverize it. It's a great throw by Matt Ryan. And a great adjustment, too. Look at the body control. Because this ball is behind him. Even though it's behind him, the quarterback is protecting him, which is he should thank Matt Ryan. But that's a great job of body control in catching that ball. Great body control. Now, got him in a traditional slot up here. Out in empty. Number two receiver. Easy. That's candy from a baby all day. He can run these routes just like receivers run them all day long. And you give him that kind of space, look at the hands catch, not a body catch. Now, what I, what I would like for him to do is flatten that thing out a little more so once he get it, he can get eyes on this cat and, and not, not drift up the field like that. If he flatten this thing out some more, he can get it, get eyes on that dude, and make something happen. He kind of drift, and now when he see him, it's kind of too late. So if he come flat down to 20 and he get it, now he can get eyes on him and maybe make a move or then run away from him. See, if he, he catching it on the, what's that, the 16, 17, 16, but if he catch it on the 20 or the 21, now he got five yards of space from this dude and he can make a move on him or just outrun him or he can do something. But at this point, he at the mercy. And again, he a rookie. He a rookie. I was a rookie. This will be his second year coming up. Now we got him in line. Got him in line right here. And this is what I didn't know he could do. He's blocking an edge guy. And even though the play's going backside, just watch the effort. It don't look the greatest, but look at the effort. Especially the finish. And maybe he's so good at it, or maybe he's good at it versus this dude that it looks effortless. But it's really stock blocking. I don't like the crossover. I would rather shuffle. There's the shuffle. There's the shuffle. Don't cross over. Then the finish. The willingness, the, the ease that looked. And again, once he get a little stronger, he'll get better at that. And it, But that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That step, don't like. That step, do like. That step, don't like. But he finished. And some guys are quick enough to get, get away with that crossover, but fundamentally-wise, you kind of want to slide shuffle with it. You want to slide shuffle with it. So when they try to change direction, you ain't off balance. But luckily, that cat didn't try to change direction on it. All right, let's go to the next one. Got you. You got a, a wing set down here and him and the slot receiver over here. That, that little burst right here. Let's talk through it. He's, he's running a little. I think it's an RPO. Is it an RPO? Play action. Play action. 
Skinny Post. Now he's getting mauled. He has to do a better job of getting rid of these guys faster and not just letting them letting them ride him. And the dude's trying to undercut it. Trying to undercut him. But watch this little burst. How, how did he get that separation? Right here, he's all over him. By the time the ball get there, it's two, three yards difference at burst. He's fighting, 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 fighting. Now he upright running. He just extended from him. Great throw by Matt Ryan, too, again. I told you I had a better appreciation for Matt Ryan after watching this. Great job of concentration. Because he's not getting off the jams very effectively. But he's still winning. He's still winning. And that's the, that's the markings of something, something that could be special. Because he's not... The whole route is not polished. It's not perfect. It's not great. But the fact that he's still producing while learning the nuances of the game, that says a lot about Pitts. Yeah, I like the release. I like the patience. Cause he, I mean, he's faster than this, but he's just running trying to get the zone. He knows Cordero's going to take the, the top off because he's the fast guy. So he has to work this area right here, and he's trying to get there. And if they react to Cordell, if they react to Cordell, I sit right here, I get the ball. If they react to me, Cordell gets it over top. See, they, they pretty much reacting to, to uh, Patterson. He sets it down. Good throw by Matt to not lead him up the field, not lead him into this guy right here. Hands catch again. We saw that body catch earlier. Boom, all hands. All hands. He might have double caught it, but still, all hands. Now we got him in line again. You, you didn't see it a lot in this film, but you got him in line again. Mm. And I, I gave you the end zone view of this because this was amazing. The best thing about being a, a, a pass catcher his hands. Push up the field a little bit to try to get some separation. Now he's going to break off from that. And he ain't going to get much separation because he's still letting the dude ride him. He letting these cats ride him. He got to get better with his hands and get them off of him. He need that Michael Lerm chuck move. Because he tried to push off and 37 went nowhere. 37 grabs that left arm and that right paw. Again, and I know this ain't about Matt Ryan. Watch this throw with a guy straight in his face. Like I said, I got a great appreciation for Matt Ryan based off what he had to work with. But that's a great freaking catch. That's that freak athleticism he got in. That part right there can't be coached by anybody. He just got to have it. Again, under under control route running. What I like. Some people run fast, but are not but out of control. Some people run slow and are they're under control, but they're too slow. He he's finding a good mixture of under control route running and, and running at a speed that's viable for him. Cause we all saw him run his forty. We know he's faster than that. But his zone, he found a soft spot. Hands, brace for the hit. The route, we don't have to run full speed every route run. I mean, every run, every route you run, but you need to run it at a tempo where you can change directions as fast as possible. And that's the key, changing directions. Now, this is, I don't know if I got two here, let's see. One-on-one -on -one with the corner up top, you know, outside receiver. So, yeah, this is it. Okay, this is what I want to talk about. All right, so you got this one-on-one -on -one matchup with a, I don't know if this is a corner or a safety or what, but I know it's not a linebacker. So now, Matt Ryan, you know you have a freak of nature right here. So all you're going to do is identify this dude. If he does not immediately take off there, because you know you got a nine right over here. If he doesn't immediately take off to go cover that, you got a chance to win right here. And so as Matt's dropping, he's really just watching to see what this cat right here do. I think he steps up, and he know he's going over top. Mm. 
<clears throat> I don't know if I have an end view of that. Let's see. Do I have an end zone view of that? It's another great catch. I do. So that safety really just kind of stood. Now Matt, that's what Matt's trying to see where the safety is. Okay, I know where the safety is. I'm going over top. See, here's that guy right here. That's him right there. Never really moved. Now, this is two hands, but it's almost one. That second hand come at the last minute. But what a throw. Ain't much room for that ball to be in there. What a throw by Matt. What a catch by Pitts. That's a OB. No, that's Mayor Fun, Mayor Fun Wu. I know he a tall safety corner, but that's what that is for the Lions. Mela Fun Wu. I think that's how you say his name. All right. Again, same situation. You got a guy that you can, you know, you may come out in two tight ends and you realize that they putting a linebacker or safety out here and you flex him out and you see what you got. Now, again, it's another nine ball. Matt, you got to read this dude. If he doesn't immediately react to that, throw it. And if you got utmost confidence in him and he do go over there, throw it anyway. Let's see what happens. Check, he checking to see what coverage it is. And since he went in motion and came back, he went in motion and came back. It's probably some form of man. Probably some form of man. Look at the safety. Just walking down. He's just walking down. Maybe they're playing some kind of cover one robber. Or a rat. And now he knows he got one-on-one -on -one up there because that safety went from here to there. Let's see. That's the one. That's the other one hander. That's the other one hander. He just, Matt Ryan just checking to see what the coverage is by doing that. That's all. I say this save the cane down in the box. I'm going over top. Look at that. Look at the eyes though. What I love the way he's tracked by the eyes. He tracked that thing with his eyes. Look, I, you really can't see his eyes, but his helmet can kind of see where the ball at. Now watch, as the ball goes down into his hands, his helmet and his eyes move down there too. I love it. I love it. You catch the ball with your eyes. I know people. some people say that's a stupid thing to say, but it is. It's your focus. It's how much you can focus with your eyes. That's a great darn catch though. Now, again, you have him right here. Same situation. You got a one high look. And you know you're looking for man. And you know you got a mismatch because he's been killing them all game. And you just put him in a different spot. So you disguise it a little bit. Instead of him being out here, now he's in the slot. You're going to get this same fade. You get a slot fade. And now you got to see. I think he's going to stay in the middle. But he's going to make a play on both of these guys. He says he's just backpedaling. So let's look at the route. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't really, didn't really get the safety, I mean the corner to open up. Or safety, whoever that is. But he even. And a lot of times when a, a tight end versus a, a corner, you the old adage, if I'm leaving, I'm leaving, don't really add up. But in this case, it does. In this case, it does. Because now, 21's at a point where he can't play the ball. All he can do is play pits. So pits just got to be the better athlete. What a catch. He technically wasn't open. He technically was not open. Again, brought and I, I just I just caught that. Brought Hayden Hurst in motion to kind of signal man. Watch Hurst coming in motion. That, you know, with him going, it's, that kind of is the signal for hey, this is probably man. And it could be something different, but this is probably man. Man, looking at the safety, trying to keep the safety in the middle or moving. He know where he's going. Now he's looking for it. Now, they're, they're, you'll see the Dolphins players sing, signaling this is not a catch. But he clearly has the ball right now. So that's one foot. Two. Three. Four. Now he dropped it there. But still, he that was four steps before he even hit the ground. Oh, what a catch. Back up. You won't go back for me. There you go. Maybe not. Forget it. I don't want to mess it up. All right. And then on this last one, I think we'll get the same thing. Another nine route. Pretty much got this one long free safety back here. He tried to push him in. He tried to push the corner in on this one, which I like. 
He's trying. Trying to get him to turn his hips. He just don't have it yet. He just don't have that version. That aspect, I'm sorry. That aspect of his game yet. The guy does, you know, the guy puts hands on him. And we've been talking about it the whole film. You know, he allows guys to put hands on him. But he's so good of an athlete that he catches this ball and what a throw. Even though the safety gets over there to try to help. Well, what I do like about this is, compared to the last one, look at how much room for the line he's running. That that other catch, when he, I don't know if it's one hand or not, but he was right here hugging the line and get, didn't give Matt any room to fade him out. This line right here is much better. So even though he the guy puts hands on him, he kind of flattens that line out to give Matt room to throw the ball over his right shoulder. And that that, that room he needed is the room he got. To keep him from getting demolished by the safe to get over top. Gave him just enough room for him to get the ball, brace himself, and not take a big hit. Let's go back to the last one right quick. I thought I had a back view, but I didn't. That's just enough room. And a great throw again by Matt. For him to catch the ball over the original defender and brace himself from the, the free safety. So again, this cat, a hundred, not a hundred, a thousand something yards as a rookie, and it's going to only get better. He's a, a, a I'm gonna say fragile, but he's a thin, thinner tight end. So once he gets this off season, another off season under his belt, uh, once he you know can use his hands to get rid of defenders earlier and more violently it's gonna be a problem and he and in my opinion he's already a notch below those top four tight ends already and those top four tight ends in my opinion are andrews kelsey kittle waller i think this dude's next in line he could or could not be in some other people's opinion you got your you got some other guys out there but i really think it was really three tight it was really three tight ends at first it was waller kittle kelsey Mark Andrews put his name in that hat this year, and this kid is going to be next to be in that upper echelon of tight ends. And I think it's going to be a five-piece at the end of 2022's football season. So this is Coach Evans again with more Sip the Tally. This is the first video on here. If you like what you see, please like the video. Um, if you want to subscribe and be here for more NFL content, uh, hit the subscribe button and um, comment. Comment your thoughts about Kyle Pitts or, or any other things football related, NFL football related. And I'm going to try to bring you some high quality content, high quality film content, man. And I appreciate all you guys for tuning in. You're a part of something special. Please hashtag number one because this is the first video on the channel. And I'll see y'all later, man. Peace.